Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing my, oh my god, 30 week to, what do we got here? Last one was 26 weeks to 30 weeks. So we're going to do our 30 weeks to, today is my first day of being 34 weeks. Yeah. So it's been like four weeks and I'm sorry, I'm like bad. I keep thinking I'm going to like be so good at this and like upload, especially when big things are happening. And then I lie. I'm just a liar. I'm a straight up liar and I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. But um, I do have some good news. Uh, last time I told you guys that I had to go in for the three hour glucose test to see if I had uh, gestational diabetes, which I don't, which is awesome. I went in and like they, they take your blood before and then you have to drink the drink and oh my god, it was horrible. It was um, a different flavor. It was a, the first time they gave me lemon, which wasn't so bad, but this time they gave me an orange flavored one and it was so much more sugar. It was disgusting. It was so hard to like drink and um, I went and sat out in the hallway like you do and I waited to be called in every hour and the first hour I sat there and I was like getting tired and I came in and she's like hey if you want you can go into a room and we can let you sleep and I was like no 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 I don't want to do that I know you guys are busy I'm not gonna take one of your rooms to sleep and that's stupid and then she took my butt and then I went back out to the hallway and immediately started falling asleep in the chair. Uh, so I, when I went in for the next one, I asked her, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take you up on that offer for the room. So for my last like uh, hour that I had to wait, she put me in a room and um, I slept. She gave me one of those like paper cover-ups that you cover yourself up with like when you're exposed to like cover up with. And I was like, this is not going to work. Bitch, I used that thing, and I slept the whole time, like, on my side, and it was so nice, because it was, like, early in the morning, and it was dark and rainy and cold, and I just, I slept. I was so tired, and there's, like, I guess you put me over in, like, the infant area where they do, what do you call a doctor for a baby? A, um, pediatrician, like, the pediatrician area, and so there were babies, like, screaming all around me, and I just, like, slept to the sound of babies screaming. I was so tired that sugar who I'm, I'm not a sugar person I just don't do sugar so like having that much sugar was just like there's an ant on my screen excuse me sir I think not but um I slept and she came and got me for the last um test and then I finally got to leave it was a long day but I was so excited to finally be able to eat like carbs again because I found out that I needed to do the test on Thursday and she asked me if I wanted to come in Friday and I was like no I had a Sprite today I want to like be really good so I took Friday Saturday and Sunday all three days I didn't have a drop of sugar or carbs like at all I didn't even eat popcorn because I'd heard the popcorn turns to sugar so I didn't eat like anything so I was like jonesing for real food I'd like eaten nothing but like vegetable stuff like and I know that's so stupid but like I wanted carbs really bad which I didn't realize how much I depended on carbs until then and I was like shit that's not good so um I was excited to eat a carb afterwards um but honestly when I got home I just wanted to take a nap I was very tired it was a wet and rainy day and I was tired and cold and like missing all my bloods so I just wanted to take a nap but um my test came, results came back and they were good you have to fail two of them for it to count as a failure I only failed one I failed the first one right after I drank the drink my um blood sugar was really high but I mean to me that makes sense because it's a lot of fucking sugar in my system and my system's probably like had no idea how to deal with that but after that, everything was fine, so I don't have gestational diabetes, which is awesome. I'm really excited about that. So, um, that was, that was probably, like, the greatest thing. And then I had to go to, I literally was at that doctor's and then had to go back two days later for an actual appointment, which was fine. I, spending so much time at the doctor's. Um, then I had my next appointment at the specialist, which we all know I love the specialist. 
and uh, I actually got to see a new lady this time, which was nice, but also, like, why have I seen three different doctors there? Just, I'm like, I don't know. I feel very much like when I used to go to, like, the free clinic and nobody knew who I was and nobody would look at my charts or, like, talk to anybody, and it was just, like, everybody coming in and then asking me the exact same questions over and over again. And it's so annoying because it's like, you don't fucking matter. So it's very annoying that I'm like almost at the end of my pregnancy and now I'm seeing somebody else again. Even though she was really nice and attentive, way more attentive than the other two, like I did like her more. But it was just... She was, uh, she was telling me about pretty much the same thing everybody's told me about how I need to be careful of preeclampsia and, like, check myself and make sure that everything's good, even though I haven't had any signs of preeclampsia. I've been super healthy. I've been walking. I haven't, like, swollen up at all. Like, this is, this is my normal fat face, you guys. This is, these are my normal fat fingers. I'm not, like, swollen. Like, it, I'm not swollen. The only time I ever get swollen or feel swole, I don't know how to say that, is when I sleep on my back and I'll wake up in the morning and I'll have, like, um, the rigor mortis fingers is what I call them, like, the really stiff fingers. That is the only time that I feel, like bloaty bloaty in my hands but it's just because they're so damn stiff but I constantly freak out every morning and I ask my husband I'm like does my face look puffy because I'm constantly scared that I'm going to get it because they keep telling me they're like oh it's the silent killer like what the hell are you talking about like telling me that my baby's gonna die if I get preeclampsia and all this shit and it's just like I'm being so good I don't know what more they want and then the new lady was like um, make sure you're eating a lot of, uh, roughage and a lot of fruits and vegetables. I'm like, I am. I'm like, I eat fruit every day. And she's like, well, be careful of certain fruits because they have more sugar than others. I'm like, okay. She's like, like bananas and mangoes. I'm like, hey, those are the two fruits I ate yesterday. So I was like, great. Now I can't eat bananas. Like, I don't always get mangoes. I only get them, like, when they're on sale and I'm, like, craving them. And my husband offered me some because they were on sale that week. So I had three mangoes wow. But it's just like, it makes me so mad. They never, they never use the right blood pressure machine on me. And then they try to tell me that I have high blood pressure and they try to put me in this chair and shit. And then they take my blood pressure like 10 minutes later and it's fucking great. But it's because they're using a different machine when they do it the second time. And it makes me so aggravated. So like last time I went in, I said, hey, can you not use this machine? Because it's giving you really high readings and it's not made for my body type. Can we go into the other room and use the other one? And of course, when she took me in there and used that one, my blood pressure was great. It was like, if you guys actually know what the fuck you were doing like I wouldn't be worried all the time that like my blood pressure is high and that you know things are happening that shouldn't be happening because besides going to the specialist everything else is great like I I am having I was just talking to my husband about this this morning I have had the easiest greatest pregnancy ever not to say that you know this next like six weeks couldn't be the worst ever because I totally could see that happening with her getting bigger and just like dropping and being on my bladder constantly but like honestly I have had the greatest pregnancy and I could do this a million times over that's like it's been nothing for me you know and I apologize to any woman out there who has had a hard pregnancy I know I am so lucky but it's just like they keep trying to scare me. It's like I watched somebody the other day like talk about how when you're fat and you go to the doctors, how they think they're automatically like, well, you're fat. You have to have diabetes. Like, no, I don't eat sugar, but they will constantly like, no, we're, we're going to give you a test for diabetes because there's no way you can be that big and not have diabetes. And it's just like you do the test and the people don't have diabetes because they know what they do. But people see fat people and automatically assume all these things. And it's like. I'm fat, yes, I am a fat person, but, like, I'm a healthy person, I am active, I, like, I have literally been on a diet pretty much, like, my entire life for, like, the last seven years, like, I eat extremely healthy, I probably know more about, you know, healthy foods than your average person, I'm super, like, 
consumed by what I put in my body, and I have been denying myself things for years. So to, like, assume just because I'm a fat person I have to have all these problems really upsets me. Like, I know I'm going to the specialist because my mother had preeclampsia, so I guess I'm prone to preeclampsia and because of my weight, but please don't put me in a box just because I'm a certain weight. Like, that irritates the fuck out of me. <sighs> like, that's how I feel when I go to this doctor, because when I go to my midwives, they are incredible, and every time my the one midwife comes in, she's like, your blood pressure is perfect, I have nothing to worry about with your blood pressure, you're great, but like, every time I go to the specialist, it's like, nope, nope, something's wrong, there's, some, there's gotta be something wrong, you know, we're just, we're worried something's gonna happen, you know, something's probably gonna happen, and it's just like, why? Why do you have to be like that? Why can't- this is supposed to be, like, the most amazing time in my life, and, like, I should be more excited to come to this doctor because every time I come, I get an ultrasound and I get to see my baby, but no, I literally dread going there because these people just, like, it's almost like they want to psych you out. It's just horrible. So, I mean- everything's fine with me and baby. Literally, everything's fine with me and baby. I have been literally keeping my- maintaining my weight so well. So well. I am 33 weeks- 34 weeks pregnant today, and I have gained less than 10 pounds. My baby is 5 pounds, and I have gained less than 5 pounds. No, less than- yeah. On top of her, like, I've gained less than 5 pounds. So, I'm just saying, like, all together, I've gained less than 10 pounds. Most people at this point have gained, like, 20 pounds. I have gained less than that. And it, it all depends on how constipated I am, because if I'm less constipated, it's even less. Like, I have worked so hard to maintain this, and, like, being told, like, oh, you know, you need to eat more fruits and vegetables, oh, but don't eat those fruits, because they're too high in sugar, like, my sugar's fine, I just, I'm so aggravated, it's like, I'm trying my best, but my best is, like, the bare minimum, and it's just, <sighs> this is, this became, like, a fucking 12-minute rant, and I'm so sorry, so sorry. It's just, like, it's so aggravating. I have, like, a good doctor, and then I have a doctor that just, like, puts me on edge, and it's just, why? And they told me last time I went that they have, they want me to do this stress test where they put, like, these things on my stomach, and, like, they check to see if baby's okay or something, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. But then they came and told me, they're like, hey, we're gonna have to have you go to the hospital and do this every week because our chair for larger people isn't working properly. So we're gonna have you on top of doing two doctor's appointments a week every two weeks. We're also gonna send you to the hospital every week to get this stress test done. And I'm like, I actually sent a, because um, this was a specialist who said this, I actually sent a message to my doctor asking, is this a necessity? Because, like, I know baby's fine. I feel her all the time. I literally, she's kicking right now. Um, is this a necessity? Because it'd be one thing if, like, I was getting it done at the doctor's office where I was. But to have to now leave and then go all the way back to the hospital to get this test done every week at the hospital during a pandemic for stress, you know, the only person who's going to be stressed out is me. Like, I don't want to have to put myself at risk for this stupid test. If you can't do it and it's not a necessity, I'm not going. Like, my husband was like, you know, you can say no to any test they, they ask you to take. Because he was thinking that the specialists, they keep ordering all these tests. And he's like, none of them sound super, like, a necessity. It's like, he's like, it sounds like they're just trying to get money from, like, insurance and stuff. And I'm like, maybe you're right. Although they did do a test on me and found out that I'm anemic, but my iron levels are great. So I don't have to take my iron pills anymore, which was, like, the best news ever. Because they made me take a test. Um, I actually asked to get this test done when I got the uh, sugar test done. And they didn't do it. So when I went back to my specialist, they um, they made me do a blood test there. 
And of course the lady there wouldn't listen to me when I was like, can you please just do it in my hand? I have really deep veins. So it took longer than it had to because they don't listen to me like the other place does because they don't give a fuck. But my test did come back and it did show that I am anemic from pregnancy, but I don't need to take my iron pills anymore because my iron's good, which makes sense to me because, I mean, doesn't technically make sense to me. It's very confusing, but point is I got to stop taking my iron pills and I was so happy I cried twice after getting that phone call because I was like holy crap I can go to bed when I want now and I don't have to like time when I eat around when I have to take this pill and I won't be as constipated or have iron poops which are the worst thing in the world and I don't smell iron anymore it's really nice so that has been incredible and baby girl is just growing like I feel her constantly and she's definitely getting big because holy crap I can feel her like all the way across me now like I, at night after I eat like I literally just feel her down the middle of my stomach all the way like I went to the doctor so I went to the specialist where I get um my ultrasounds I went there last time was the 27th yeah it was the 27th and on the 27th I was like 32 weeks around and she was already 4.2 pounds and she's supposed to be like 4.7 pounds as of like this week so I'm pretty sure she's already at like five pounds and she's like doing real good getting real big and I'm just, like, so happy. I wake up in the middle of the night, like, all the time, and she's just, like, kicking like crazy. And if I lean forward, I feel her move so much. And my neighbor across the street just had a baby, and she came over the other day and gave me so much advice because I was telling her, I'm like, you know, my pregnancy has, like, been super easy. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, my delivery is going to be real easy. She's like, no. She goes, I felt the same way. She's like, but my baby was stuck over on the side and so during her pregnancy she had to do squats to get the baby to move from her left side into the canal like like its head in the oh my god pregnancy brain um where the bones come together so the baby can go through like she had to do squats to the ground between her contractions to get the baby to move into the right spot because the baby wasn't progressing because it was over on her side she's like oh just have your husband like talk on this side because the baby girl's on this side talk on this side and she'll try to move closer to him and get more in position so I did that once let me tell you that shit worked because the next day I usually feel her right down there she was down the middle of my stomach and I could heal her she had moved like so much but now I'm worried she moved too much and I have no idea where she is so I can't wait to go back to see where she is to see if she's in position or if she's moved more than she should have or what I need to do because I'm so ready like stupid ready like <laughs> the other day I was like at 33 weeks and I was sitting there I'm like is it too early to start looking up ways to like start your um labor and I was like She's not, you're not even 27 weeks. Stop it. But, like, I'm so ready. I want her so bad. After seeing my neighbor's baby, like, oh, my God, he's so big. And he's only been, like, three to three or five weeks. He's so big. I just, I can't wait. I just, it's so crazy. I have six weeks and then I'm going to have a baby. Maybe less. I need to wash her clothes. Oh, my God. Um... I'm trying to think what other symptoms I've had like my heartburn has been so much better since stopping taking my iron I still get heartburn but like I used to wake up with heartburn every morning and I don't anymore and that's been incredible um I've been super motivated and I which was something I was having a really hard time with and I organized all of baby's area over there her pack and play is up um, all her clothes are organized by size all her diapers are over there well the diapers I have so far Mark's mother-in-law buys all the diapers for the first year, and she has a bunch, and um, she'll give me them when I need them, um, but 
I have all her swaddles, but the only thing is, like, I have to wash all these first. I haven't washed anything yet. Um, but, like, all her stuff is set up, and, like, her area is set up, which, like, really made me feel better. The only thing I need to do now, literally, I've said this 20 million times. Hopefully, I do it today. Why am I so burpy? Is I need to take this table. I don't know if you can see there's, like, a table here with, like, lotion and my drink stuff. I need to take this out, organize all this, because this is where her, um... pregnancy brain that um that thing right there what's that called the thing that you put your baby in the ba bassinet yep i knew i'd get there um bassinet will go here where she will be right next to me so i'm excited about that another symptom pregnancy brain like that shit's no joke i can't remember literally i will be mid-sentence and can't remember the next word in a sentence it's bad like it's normal everyday things I can't remember I swear to god I think I'm going crazy sometimes with the things that I can't remember it's I I really in the beginning of pregnancy was like oh pregnancy brains it's no big deal like it's oh my god I feel so stupid sometimes I want to cry because the things the basic things that I can't remember it's it's so bad it's like so bad I don't know why it's so bad but it is so so bad <laughs> it makes me sound so sad like I'm just so sad about how stupid I feel all the time but it's great um what else I'm not like swollen anywhere um my stomach I do think my stomach has dropped especially since Mark talked to my stomach I feel like my stomach has dropped and I am peeing so much now like my bathroom is like maybe 20 feet in front of me and I will tell you when I wake up in the morning to get out of bed to go to the bathroom there's a 40% chance I will not make it in time like it's crazy not only like anytime I stand up do I have to automatically pee but like I don't have as much time to make it from point a to point b to go pee it's crazy insane like yeah it's it's so bad i've I'm not gonna lie i've peed myself multiple times just trying to make it to the bathroom and it's just so depressing but it's all it's all for baby girl it's all for baby girl it's fine i'm trying to think if there's anything else like i've had weird pains for, for a week or so, I was having weird pains where if I lay it on my side, I don't know if, like, my boobs were just getting bigger or if it was before baby dropped, so all of my organs were, like, all up under my, my boobs, but um, when I would lay on my side, like, my chest would hurt, and I used to get this pain before where it would feel like my boobs were pulling on my chest and it hurt my chest. And so that was a pain that, like, really sucked because I couldn't lay on either side because both sides, it would, like, hurt my chest. And you can really only sleep on your sides when you're pregnant. <sighs> Awful fun fact. So that sucked. Um, sleep has been better. I've been trying to sleep on my sides as much as possible, but I can't help it. I wake up on my back constantly because it's, I think, my norm for me, which I talked to my doctor about, and she's like, you know, as long as you, um, like, if you can't breathe, you wake up, which I do. I have woken <coughs> up multiple times from, like, not being able to breathe from sleeping on my back, which is good, which means that baby, like, if I wake up, then baby should be fine because baby hasn't been, like, deprived of air, if that makes sense. So, um, I, I try to sleep on my side. It's not always comfortable. I really want a bigger bed. <laughs> like, it's just... All the little things add up, but, like, it's still really incredible, and, like, I can't believe in six weeks we're going to have a baby. I am quite upset that here in Florida it is the 14th of um, November, and hold on. I want to see. It is 82 degrees. Oh, that's actually pretty good outside, but it has been pretty fucking hot every day and I really thought by the time baby was born it would be really cold I just I don't know I was like oh it's gonna be really cold and it's gonna be so nice and it has been hot as balls every day so that sucks I kind of hope she comes a little early I would love to have her like at home for Christmas like that would be 
incredible. I also wouldn't mind, like, having her on Christmas. That would be incredible, but it's just... More than anything, I just want her so bad. Okay, I, I can't really think of anything else. I haven't really had pains, like, really. I get random pains if I roll over too fast. It feels like, like in the beginning when I would pull a muscle. But that's about it. That and then, like, moving, especially towards the end of the night, is a new task. Like, when I'm in bed and I go to roll over, like, I literally roll on to my husband to roll over because it takes so much more to, like, roll over my body. Like, yesterday I was trying to roll over to his side of the bed to talk to him because he was sitting over there, his computer's over there, and the cat was there, and I'm like, Gabriel, you gotta move. It took all of my energy to roll from this side of the bed over to that side of the bed. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. I do get tired doing small, not like small tasks, but like doing simple things. I will find myself kind of out of breath sometimes, but that's kind of normal at this point. So yeah, those are all of my updates. We don't have gestational diabetes. We don't have to take iron pills anymore. Baby girl is doing good. She's nice and big. Hopefully she's moved to the right spot. Um, I mean, everything's looking up. So yeah, pretty much completely ready for her and yeah, I'm, I'm so stoked. So hopefully, I don't know how many more videos like this we're going to have because I don't see much changing, honestly, but who knows? Literally in the next week, everything could change and I could die. Like, the pain could just be so much and she just like moves and I'm just like, this is different. So, I mean, keep an eye out and if you guys want, I just said this in my last video, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but, um... If you guys want a video on clothing, I did buy her a bunch more clothing um, secondhand from Once Upon a Child because I found out about Once Upon a Child and I'm obsessed with it and I bought her so many cute things. So if you guys want like a second um, video about her clothing or anything else, let me know down below and I would be more than happy to oblige. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. This was so long. I'm so sorry. Have a great day. Bye.